What's up guys, it's Tech Newbie here. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iDevice on 4.3.1. This works for every single device but except the uh, iPad 2. So right now I'm going to be working on my iPhone 3GS. Alright, it's done. Snowbreeze seems to have successfully created your IPSW. This file will be located on your desktop. And it should be already there. Snowbreeze 4GS 4.3.1. Please press the OK button below to follow the on-screen instructions to put your device in restorable state. So this is where you're going to need to hold your home button and power button together for a few amount of seconds. So I'm going to be recording my iPhone on the side with only one hand, which is kind of not recommended, but you know what, screw it. Okay, we're going to make sure that our iDevice is connected, check, and the iDevice is turned off. So right now my iPhone is turned off right now. We're going to go to it right now. Alright, so we're going to go on it. And it's loading. Who are you? User, hacker, and it's pretty much all the basic setup of Cydia. So we're just going to type in user and done. And also, this should be installing Cydia 1.1, which I'll have a video at the bottom. Yes, no, actually 1.0 still. But yeah, if you're haven't yet updated to Cydia 1.1 please do so I highlighted the improvements and upgrades from Cydia and I'll place the video on the annotation in an annotation or a link in the description whichever the case so as you can see here, it's reloading data the usual it seems to be working uh, I don't know if you have this problem though but try to tap on upgrade essential see if that works for you Alright, it's going to tell us to reboot our device. Now, because this is a tether jailbreak, it's going to be stuck once it's going to start. So I'm going to go back to iBooty and get it ready. Alright, so it's turned off. You see the Apple logo. Okay guys, it took me around like 3 minutes and 2 tries to actually get the iPhone 3GS to boot up successfully. But uh, it actually worked. But my encouragement to you guys, if it doesn't boot up more than like 3 or 4 minutes, try to do the iBooty process again and it will work guys, I promise you that. Just have uh, enough patience to deal with it. So uh, I know I have to do it again because of uh, Winterborn and all the other apps that I have to download.